In this video, we will learn how to convert the different units of speed. Now, there are different units of speed as I have written them here. Now, for example, one of the units of speed is kilometers per hour. Likewise, we can have many other units of speed, for example, kilometer per day. And similarly, meters per minute, meters per second and centimeters per hour. Now, we can have a wide variety of these units of speed many different units of speed and what we are going to learn in this video is how to convert one of those units of speed into another units of speed right now in our uh, daily lives in, in basically in, in, in schools we describe speed uh, using two different units uh, if you if you've seen a car you might have seen that the speed is described as kilometers per hour However, in schools, we uh, describe all the speeds in SI units and the SI unit of speed is meters per second. So it becomes important for us to know how to convert one unit of speed into the standard unit of speed. Well, in this video, we will learn how to convert different units of speed into each other. For example, we will learn how to convert kilometers per hour to meters per second. We will also learn some other examples and after after watching this video you should be able to convert let's say kilometers per day into kilometers per hour or you can convert kilometers per day into meters per second or meters per minute so this is what we are going to learn in this particular video conversion of the different units of speed into each other now here is our first example and i'll use a black marker for that now in our first example i'm taking the speed as five kilometers per hour now, one way of writing, or what does this mean first, uh, first of all, is five kilometers in one hour. So if we say that something is uh, something has a speed of five kilometers per hour, it means it is traveling, it is moving five kilometers in one hour's time. And the speed is also written like this. We write five kilometers and we, then we draw this bar. This is basically per hour. And what does this mean mathematically? This means 5 kilometers are being traveled in 1 hour. So we write 5 kilometers divided by 1 hour. Now, so let us assume if a car, let us assume there's this car that is moving at a certain speed. Let's say it is moving at 5 kilometers per hour. If I ask you, alright, this is the speed, but what is the speed of this car in meters per second? So how do we find this out? And in order to find this out, we do some conversions and it is very simple. We've done conversions in our previous classes and all you need to do is convert. So the first thing that we will do is we will look at the numerator and that is 5 kilometers. That is the, uh, the physical quantity of length and we will convert 5 kilometers into meters. And once we have done that, what we will do, we'll take the unit of time per hour, which is one hour and we'll convert that into seconds. And now let's start doing that. So <clears throat> what I've done is I've al already solved both of them and I have solved the conversion of 5 kilometers into meters on our left hand side. So let us first of all look how we convert 5 kilometers into meters. So here it is. 5 kilometers is how many meters? So 5 kilometers. Uh, so what are we do doing here? We are converting a larger unit of length into a smaller unit of length. And we already know the formula to convert larger units into smaller units that is VL times CF which is value of the large unit multiplied by the conversion factor. The value of the large unit here is 5. This is the large unit. You see why is this the large unit because it's kilometers and we have to convert into a smaller unit. So value of the large unit it's 5 here and what is the conversion factor here? Conversion factor is the number of small units in one large unit. We have done this before and the conversion factor is 1000 because one kilometer has a thousand meters. So now we put the value 5 and 1000 into the formula here, right? We are into CF and what do we get? 5 kilometers is 5000 meters. So this is the first step. So now we know that 5 kilometers is a thousand meters here, right? Now let us convert one hour into seconds. So converting one hour into seconds again hour is the larger unit and second is the smaller unit so we are converting a large unit into a small unit and the formula for doing that is VL times CF which is value of the large unit multiplied by the conversion factor now what is the value of the large unit here 
So our, what is the value? It's one, the magnitude or the value is one. So we write one there. And what is the value of, and what is the value of conversion factor? So conversion factor is the number of seconds in one hour. And that is 3600. And how do we find that? You know this, we have already done this in our previous classes. So we use this particular formula and we find that one hour has 3600 seconds. So now what we can do here is, what was our objective? What were we planning to do? I mean, what was the question? Five kilometers per hour is how many meters per second? Let me use my eraser and let's make it a little bit neat so that we see. So this was our original problem. How five kilometers per hour is how many meters per second? If I have to describe the speed five kilometers in one hour in meters per second, what is it? So now we have converted five kilometers into meters. We've converted one hour into seconds and now we will divide both of them. So why will we divide? We, I'll tell you. So five kilometers is, is how many meters? So we write 5,000 uh, 5, meters. Five kilometers is 5,000 meters, right? Uh, a moment, please. So it is 5,000 meters. And one hour is how many seconds? It is 3,000 seconds. So what we are doing, we are simply writing the value of kilometers converting into meters here and converted value of hours here into seconds. And then we divide them. Now, uh, the standard that we follow is we only divide, we only calculate up till two decimal places, right? So what we've done is I have already divided 5,000 by 3,600. And what I get is 1.38. So this is the value I get. And you must remember because we have converted kilometers to meters and we've converted hours to seconds, the answer is in meters per second. 1.38 meters per second. If you've not understood this first example, I want you to watch this video again and um, ask me a question if you have any. I will see you with another example in the next video.